If we have to make a list of topics that we motorcyclists discuss in the community, then engine oils and chain lubes will take the front row seats. I have covered a lot of interesting and detailed video on chain maintenance and lubrication on the channel where a lot of chain lubes have been discussed. More than 2 years back I did a video on Putolin Drytech chain lube where a lot of you suggested me to try the Putolin Tech chain which is primarily said to be based on ceramic chain wax. So this review is coming after using the Tech chain on both my BMW G310R and my friend's RTR 204V which were used for highway riding, city riding as well as riding in the rain. In both the cases, we started off with a fairly cleaned up chain and sprockets. If you remember from the Fuel Doctor video, I had used the fuel additive and diesel combo to clean up the 310's drive chain. This was followed by proper wiping and drying up of the chain. And finally, the tech chain was sprayed from the contact side of the chain on the links and rollers. I always appreciate this type of nozzle with easy to reach extension which makes the application easy. My friend was helping me with rotating the rear wheel while I sprayed the tech chain which instantly covered the chain in distinct white layer of ceramic wax. This white layer makes it easy to notice the rounds of lubrication. Putolin recommends you can go for two rounds to ensure the contact and roll points are covered well. After lubrication, the entire drive chain looks bright white especially when you have a all black motorcycle. So much so that people do notice can ask. Although I liked it as it serves as an indicator but if you want to flaunt your golden brass or silver coated chain drive then it will be difficult to do that with this. This also brings me to the formulation where the ceramic wax sticks really well onto the chain. Do note that being a wax based lubricant I observed the penetrating and displacing qualities of the tech chain is not as good as oil based lubricants. Which is not an issue as it can be compensated with the second round. On the other hand I found no splatter or fling on the rim even after doing good highway speeds. I did some good 200 plus kilometers of highway ride on the G310 and the chain remained almost similarly coated after that. The RTR 200 had to go through a lot more including some heavy rain riding yet you can find some remains of tech chain still clinging onto the chain after 500 plus kilometers. If I have to compare then in my case the tech chain did last longer than the dry tech but you also have to pay a premium for that. I usually do the pre-monsoon maintenance on my car every year in the month of May. This year it was delayed and I did not actively participate in it. After seeing the performance of tech chain, I decided to use it on the exposed metal and door latch parts of my car as a lubricant and protectant. I am careful about what I am using here as some sprays and greases can be dust and dirt magnet which can do more harm than good. Which is not the case with tech chain and I guess this quality differentiates the tech chain from Motul's chain paste which is predominantly a grease. Now coming to the verdict, honestly I will acknowledge the performance, durability and cleanliness that the tech chain provides which makes it best possible for its application. Long distance riders will surely appreciate all of this along with the lubrication range especially when you have a motorcycle with a missing center stand. I guess that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it. 